Like most of you, when VR finally became a reality, I didn't dream of becoming a superhero or going off on some epic adventure. I wanted to be trapped in a mine while my friend gave me shit for it over a radio. Today, that dream came true. Welcome to a review for the brand new VR multiplayer game, Isolation. Yes, it's a pun. This is an asymmetrical VR game, meaning one person is in VR while the other person is on PC. Is it worth your time to do some dangerous spelunking? Let's find out. Shut up and sit down. Like many great stories, it all starts at a Soviet Union military base in Siberia. The senior researcher smartly stays in a nice heated tent while his dispensable colleague ventures into a nearby mine. Of course, there is a cave-in, and now that poor colleague has to find a new way out while his safe and warm boss uses maps and essays about elevators to help him along. Slightly more of the story begins to form as you wander around the dark corridors, finding radioactive goo and weird ancient devices that would probably summon aliens to kill us all. But for the most part, the story you create here is the banter between the VR player and the PC player. And by banter, I mean insults and swearing. The maps look like maps and the essays look boring, so they really nailed that aspect of the game. I will say, I think it's a great touch on the developer's part to include a tiny window of what the VR player sees on the main screen. This helps tremendously with communication after you describe that exit they are trying to get you to go through is blocked by a ton of rocks and they don't believe a word you say even though your shit luck ass wants out of the cave so fucking badly. Uh, um. Anyway, as for the VR player, it's quite basic on the graphics front. Everything looks relatively bland, except for those killer Soviet flags. So beautiful. It's a cave, so you can't expect much, but a little more diversity of each area would have been excellent. Quite a few objects were interactable, but 90% of them did nothing and it was near impossible to tell what you could put on your belt and what would just fall through the world. I did think it was cool that you could see your breath with each word you spoke. I mean, it's cold in Siberia. But after about mm, 30 seconds, I hated it, because it just fogged up my already blurry and dark screen especially if I was reading anything. For the PC player, it sucks to suck because you don't get any audio. While I'm sure it would have been nice to hear those pins snap into the map or some of the pages rustle, they got nothing. But don't worry VR player, it's almost like you get nothing too! Footsteps are there sometimes, and your lighter makes a noise, but that's really about it. At one point in the game there was some metal screeching and that scared the shit out of me. But otherwise it was mostly just a silent adventure. It's a bummer, but I do understand this choice. The developers wanted this to be as realistic as possible and you're trapped in a cave, so what kind of sounds do you want? Most of the sound they wanted was the talking between you and the PC player. I think the word I really want to emphasize here is clunky. Clunky and boring. So two words, really. For the PC player, it was more of a chore than gameplay. They basically stare at a map while the VR player gets to go exploring. And for supplements, they get some essays about elevators and generators. It wasn't engaging and they didn't have any means by which they could feel a part of the game. They were an instruction manual. Do you want to be an instruction manual? <laughs> no you want to do something. For the VR player, it was just so basic. You wander around very similar looking rooms in the cave and that's about it. They use a teleportation method between rooms and that really killed the immersion for me. I'd start to feel slightly claustrophobic or nervous and then BAM! Oh yeah, I'm in a game. I did like the fact that you could light candles to see where you've been, like some sort of trail. That did prove useful but there weren't any fun surprises in different rooms or crazy adventures to be had. I was just wandering, hoping my friend on the PC could tell me which way to go before he died of boredom. My friend and I played for a bit over an hour and we never managed to escape. I felt like we were close. We found an elevator and later a generator for that elevator, but we couldn't get it started. Hoping to excite us, I tried to play a record and it just fell through the table. 
I had a dream that being lost in a cave while my friend attempted a daring rescue would be an exciting adventure. It wasn't. I give Isolation a 4 out of 10.